Hi, this is Sam Drogi. Uh, we haven't done this before. We haven't made a video before. And uh, what we're going to try and do here is show people how to net bees, how to catch bees with nets. And the reason for that is that um, a lot of people are doing surveys and are collecting bees now, and they haven't necessarily um, been trained by anyone or even gone out with anyone else. So we want to give them some perspective on how we catch bees with nets. And uh, so this little video is the result. Um, we are doing this with very inexpensive equipment and completely have no idea what we're doing. But we're going to give it a shot and we'll see what happens. Okay, let me start the video now. Here we go. Okay, so here's the basic situation. There's a flower. It has bees on it. You have a net. You're standing nearby it. What you're going to want to do is center your swing on the head of that flower. And the trick here is that you're going to want to do it fast because bees are fast and if you approach it slowly or try and be concerned about the uh, flower being preserved or not, you're going to miss those bees. So it's fast, you often clip off the head of the flower. That's just kind of the way it is. If you don't do that, you're going to miss many bees. Okay, so after you catch a bee, you can flip the tip of the net over and then you snap the bees down into the bottom and then at that point you can grab the net below and the bees can't escape. And you can walk around with the net flipped over like that. Okay, here we are out in the field again and um, I haven't got anything in the net and I'm holding the tip of the net against the handle getting ready to start. There's some more goldenrod, bees and wasps, all kinds of good things on there. As I'm collecting, I'm snapping the catch down into the bottom and that means I can grab about the top of the bees and wasps and they're not going to get out and they're also not going to sting me like that. So at that point I can keep collecting, I can keep snapping, I can keep putting things down at the bottom. I can accumulate a lot of bees into that net as I'm uh, collecting. So I continue to snap things to the bottom, I grab them, I look before I grab it just in case there's a big Polistes wasp in there which tends to cling to the sides. But I, there's no reason for me to have to clean out my net and to put things into the um, killing vial um, after just catching one bee. It's much, much faster to keep collecting and to um, accumulate a large number of bees and wasps in your net before taking them out. Okay, so we're continuing to do that. Um, I can pick out the uh, grass and I can put the heads of the uh, flowers in there after I snap them down. The bees don't usually escape that quickly. Stinging usually isn't a problem. I'm going to be putting my net hand into the net later, and a, uh, the uh, bees are not that interested in stinging me, and in fact they can be crawling all over your hands. I'm careful about the social wasps and bees because they tend to sting without, with less provocation, and of course they're bigger, and it hurts, whereas the little ones, even if they could sting, don't really end up hurting you. Okay, this last segment here, it shows how to catch bees that are flying over and near the ground, either on a nest site or their nest parasites looking for nests. You really can't swing at them very effectively because the, they're so close to the ground, you just your net drags on the ground and you have very little surface area in which to catch the bees. Um, so what we're going to do is slap uh, the whole net head onto the ground very quickly, again, there fast, slap it down, and I walk over and I pull up the uh, tip of the net and the natural inclination of bees and wasps is to crawl upwards. So, and it actually takes quite a while. So you're going to sit there, you're going to look for the bee or wasp to crawl up. Then I pick it up very quickly, pull it back and snap everything to the bottom. And then I look and see whether I've got it there or not. Now, <clears throat> we're in terms of taking bees out of um, uh, the net. So I've got a load of bees in there. I take my vial, which is really just a centrifuge tube filled with alcohol or soapy water. I'm going to insert the uh, tube with the cap in my hand already into the net and I'm going to carefully just let a few of those bees out at a time. The big social ones usually come first. I can grab them off the edge of the net um, holding the tube against the netting and um, often they need a little bit of encouragement so you see me tapping the tip of the net down. I'm just really popping them into the uh, water. Once they go in they don't come back out which is very different from say a kill jar with ethyl acetate or cyanide in it. Um, that's the nice thing about collecting directly into alcohol. Um, you can use our uh, processing things later to um, get them back into good shape because um, that's one of the problems with alcohol is unless you process them well they're not going to 
outcome look very good afterwards. So I can keep doing this and I can have a large number of bees and wasps in there. And my final procedure usually is to scrape the little ones off the sides of the net. I hold the net up, bees crawl to the top. Uh, while they're doing that I can see them, I can pull the netting over to the side, and just by scraping the uh, bottle up I can get them in. Well, that's pretty much it. I guess if there's questions, you can email or phone me. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.